the yeah. Thick your cuts are. 
on the other side, and then I'm going to show you, I add a sweet chili jam to this that really takes all the work out of, it takes the marinade step away, it takes any kind of sauce preparation step away, because what it does is it creates this kind of just sweet enough, a little bit of heat glaze that goes on across the chicken, and I even add the semi cake sometimes, um, which gives it an even better. I'm not saying no to sweeteners, I'm not saying no to fat. I'm not saying it's salt. I'm saying yes to really high quality versions of those things. And saying yes to using them in moderation so you get the most value for the calories that you're consuming where your body really knows how to process them. One of the things that we run into is when we're eating a ton of processed foods, the calories that are coming in, even if it's 500 calories, they're empty calories. They're not getting any nutrition in your system. Your body is going to process them. Your body doesn't recognize any of that nutrition. So what does it tell you to do? Your body's really smart. So say it needs energy. Say it wants some sugar. And you eat a sugar-free candy bar or a sugar-free nutrition bar. Well, your body says, I don't see any sugar in here. What are you talking about? There's no sugar. So it tells you to keep eating. Keep eating. Keep eating. So I get the sugar that I want. Well, you want your sugar. Keep eating. Keep eating. <laughs> so it really tricks you, which is why you can run into these problems where if you're eating a lot of a, a lot of dietary foods, you end up consuming more calories than you ever would if you're eating really high quality food to begin with. But yeah, it could be full fat, it could be full of, you know, not full of sugar, but have some sugar in it, or your body's much better off in the long run. So I'm gonna lower this to a medium heat. I'm not gonna take it off too much, it's too heavy. Um, and I'm just gonna toss these potatoes together with our coconut oil, our maple syrup, a little bit of salt, a little bit of craft pepper. I love that combination of the sweet with the salt. Carla does it all the time. Actually, she showed us on the show last season that vanilla salt that she makes where if you have a vanilla bean and you already scraped the inside out, I know holidays are coming up, everyone's baking and doing those vanilla beans. Save the pod and throw it into a blender or a food processor with some regular granulated sugar and it makes this gorgeous vanilla sugar that you can top on ice cream, you can top it on even some meat preparations, you can use it for cookies. It is delicious. So then a little bit of a little bit of cinnamon going over here. And you can even do a little cayenne if you like that heat. But this looks good. It's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes. So throw those in the oven. I've got my oven going at 450. Chicken's still going. It's still going strong. Let's check it. See how we're moving. Oh, what? Ooh, look at that. That's a nice looking brown right there. This is the other thing that I think is so important to keep in mind. When you're making chicken, especially, you're having kind of meat. We create more work for ourselves than we need to because we go in there and we're shaking it and we're trying to fuss around and you break the piece of chicken and it doesn't look good. The chicken will tell you when it's done. It will unstick itself and that's when you know it's ready to flip. Now, one of the other ways to test is you want to cut near that bone and if any red liquid emerges, you sell these keep cooking. When you want to Cut next to the bowl, you want the liquid you want clear. That's how you know it's really ready. And you can make sure you're nice and safe there. Okay, so now for the kale salad while that's all going. A nice big bowl, because you will see just like spinach, all this kale, which is probably two heads of kale, is gonna is gonna condense down to be just enough for me. Sorry guys. <laughs> uh, so all I'm doing here is removing it off of the stem. And a really simple way to do that is if you want to lie it flat on a cutting board, just slice down with a chef's knife with a paring knife. Super simple. But you just are breaking it off into a bite-sized piece without that big. If it looks a little big, you tear it a little bit smaller. Another way to do this, although it's a little more painstaking, so when I'm on the run, I kind of just like to do it this way, is you can actually fold the leaf across and then slice it into ribbons. You do that? I see you shaking your head, you're like it that way. It is so good, and it's so funny because people, how many people try kale salad in the restaurant because it's like really fancy and fashionable right now? And it tasted like you were eating with like rabbit food. Just, just, yes, yes, like, like it's, the reason it tastes like that is it's so good for you. I mean, we're talking like the biggest nutritional powerhouse readily available to you right now. Um, and you want tons of cruciferous veggies, cancer prevention, that's what it's really the big, the big sort of news point on this. But you get, you, if you don't facade it, if you don't dress it properly, it just tastes like pure chlorophyll, basically. Um, 
Um, so what I, what I found is by massaging it and by breaking down some of the fiber with my hands, I can actually get it to absorb some of the dressing better. But I can also get it to taste like something I want to eat regularly, which is sweet. I've also started, and my husband doesn't know this so I've also started putting it into my smoothies in the morning. Um, he can't see that while he's his glasses on, so maybe he doesn't know that it's green. <laughs> um, but they, uh, it really blends in nicely if you add either frozen cherries or frozen mango to the mix, a little bit of banana, I do a little almond butter. Um, I love to do some almond milk, coconut milk, or even yogurt if you have it around. And that is a little bit of lime juice. It is like so good. It's such an easy way to get into it. One of the things I learned last year, someone told me this and I was researching on it, if you don't have time to chew, the best thing for you to eat is a soup or a smoothie that you don't have to chew all the food for. Because the chewing process really breaks down the nutrition in the items so that your body can absorb it. If you're not doing that, it's not doing much good for you. So either chew the way you're supposed to, or consider adding some more really highly nutritious soups and stews and, uh, and smoothies to your plant. Do you ever sauté your kale? Say it again. Do you ever sauté your kale? Oh, yeah. No, I love it sauté. I mean, look, there's some thought on cooking, breaking down some of the fiber nutrition, but I think if, you're, if, if cooking it means you're eating it three times a week, that for me is the best, you know? And I love it. I do um, a brown rice with scallions and some sauté kale thrown in. You know, you know that kids are almond delicious. All right, look what I'm doing. I'm wringing those kale's neck. This is, those of you with kids, those of you with like someone you want to put to work that you don't trust in the night, this is great. <laughs> they get in there. And already you can see it's wilting. I mean, it really just wants to drink up this oil. It wants to break down. And you'll see we went from a bowl that was overflowing to a bowl that really is going to be just enough for probably four people. All right. Get working, in. the doctor Oz will be so happy. <laughs> All right. So I mean, you can really stop there, or you can keep going. And the nice thing is, the longer you go, the more it will break down. The softer, the more tender it will be, the more it will start to taste like your basic romaine, which people are sometimes more comfortable with. Right now, and I can't remember anything. Oh, I can't speak. <laughs>
or use it if you're making bacon or something like that, either a grease that you want to keep around, easy to have on hand in the fridge. But I really get rid of it pretty fast. Um, and make sure you keep your oils in the fridge and any oil at all times, because it really, you don't want to risk them going rancid. All right, these look, I need a couple more minutes, but I'll show you what I'm going to do with the onions. So I just took a whole onion here and cut it up into wedges. I'm going to toss them in with the sweet potatoes to give them a little bit of an onion flavor, but also let these roast. So we have that to look forward to go to over and over again, uh, especially on the weeknights when I'm trying to get them together pretty quickly. And they're that perfect balance for me of healthy and happy. You know, I, my big thing is if it's not delicious, I don't care if it's healthy. And I, as someone who lost a lot of weight throughout my adolescence and childhood, and I, I gained a lot of weight throughout my childhood and lost a lot of weight in college, I lost about 35, 40 pounds in college from 180 down to 145. And now we're climbing, baby! <laughs> um, you know, you, you really have to think about food. I did, as someone who loved food and didn't want to give up that love in a way that was about balance. And it was about, you know, what's the sacrifice I'm willing to make versus what is something that I really crave and want, and if I miss it, I'm going to feel deprived, and that's not a happy life. Let's pen. This just works great as a way to create a glaze really quickly. I'm going to turn the heat way down here, because all I'm looking to do at this point is caramelize the chicken in this little bit of fat that I left at the bottom of the pan, and the sweet chili glaze, too. Swirling so both sides. Let that cook for about a minute or two, and dinner's ready. Are you guys, what, you guys anything to eat yet? Okay, you're getting the kale salad now. You'll get the chicken and the sweet potato coming up. And now, I'm ready to let that just sit. I'm gonna let that just caramelize a little bit. So how about some questions? <laughs> Anyone oh. watch the two? Anyone want to talk about oh, those great people that hang out with all the time? You like it, sir? Yes, I started watching it in prison. In prison? No kidding! Yes. We, we are, we're all in prison! Oh my god, this is awesome! <laughs> <laughs> was it, I mean, like, what's it like when you when you watch something like that? Is it kind of crazy? Is it a thing? It totally sucks because you can't eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy, actually? We hear from people all the time who watch the show in the gym. And it's like, I'm on the treadmill and watching you guys eat, you know, sweet chicken and, and roast beef and whatever. And, uh, and it's so funny, because there is a, definitely a form of self-torture in that. <laughs> but, but it's, you know, it's entertaining. And it's fun, because I think, I, I can't, you know, tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like it's so clear how much love and respect we all have for each other on the show. Like, and it just, it happens so naturally, which is the crazy. We didn't know each other at all before we started. And it just, it just clicked. I mean, and five of the most, Mario always says, he's like, I would never have picked you guys as my bunk mate, but now that we're here, I really like you. <laughs> um, so it just, it worked out really nicely. And now that you're out, have you cooked anything from the show? Uh, I just cooked a whole ton every day. Really? Anything that you tried this week you liked a lot? Steak I missed, so I've been eating it like three times a day. I won't tell my dad. <laughs> Michael Simon will never learn to like tofu if he knows it's tofu. That said, I'm convinced. Where are we? We, we have, where are we? We know. Oh, oh, no, no, no my first thought was far left. Because so much of dealing with, like, ch the change of your life that happens when, you, when you're on a show like ours is, or, or just honestly going from, I started the show at 24, I'm 27 now, so a lot of things change in your mind and in your life at those stages, and Carla has been such, like, a, a mentor and a, like a woman's life guide for me that I never even anticipated meeting. <laughs> I mean, she, she and I just are like two people with God, which has been incredible, and I'm very, very grateful for that experience. Um, but we talk to each other all the time. I mean, like, like, I never knew, and men, you may not know, maybe you do actually really care about this, your bra is supposed to be <laughs> between, it's supposed to hit between your elbow and your shoulder. And mine was not at that point, so he fixed me. <laughs> oh no, I forgot something on the kale salad. The most important ingredient, the, the hemp seeds. Tons of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, omega-9 too, really useful. Especially if you're a vegetarian and don't eat uh, fish, 
a great point, a great place to put them on is the salad, and they're like a rich, nutty kind of flavor that just is delicious. And you have that on your salad. Yes, yes. Am I gonna fail your analysis test for eating that? Yes, no. <laughs> right here. Yes. Congratulations on the baby. Thank you. Yeah, definitely, absolutely. I um, I mean, I have three plans too. But I think uh, I think I'll probably be off like a month, and then a month and a half, and then I'll start coming back again. Yep, there are. The no, no, so you, yeah. see, you guys know that it's awesome. Okay. We're, we're lucky to come in and recruit the pilot. So I come in and we did a one year, four different versions of cast members trial term. Where like with, we, we made four different pilots. Every time they would call me and say, everybody you work with is gone, but like you're going to come back for the next round, which was crazy. And I definitely lost 10 years of my life with the stress of that process. And literally, a month before we announced the show, in, so it was in April of 2011, this would be, they said, okay, we have the perfect cast. It's going to be you, Carla Hoffman, Kelly Michael Simon, Mario Vitale. Please come in next week, and we're going to start seeing how you guys like each other. And it just, like, literally from that first day, just made so much sense. I mean, it was just, if you think about it, we're the weirdest pairing of personalities. 